aka Animal and welcome to my studio. Today is going to be a quick little project. Um, a couple of weeks ago I posted a video about my dog passing. Um, it's right here if you want to go see it. Um, my friend Pam Tonino, whose channel is right here, sent me this little package with a lovely card and some little glass vials and the purpose of them is to take some of um, my dog's fur she had really super short hair so we were only able to get a little bit um, from her and put it in the vial and then that vial is going to be attached onto the necklace that I wear every day and I'll be able to have her with me all the time um, my husband saw that there was some extra vials so he asked if he could have one too he wants to keep it attached to his keychain uh, these are glass but i think they're pretty strong um, he seemed fairly confident that it wouldn't be a an, an issue so i'm just gonna zoom in here and just show you what i'm gonna do uh, the first thing i'm gonna do actually is put something behind here so that you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. I'll just put a green piece of paper and zoom in a little bit. So I have a swab and some alcohol and I want to just clean the insides and uh, because I am going to use some E6000 and that's going to permanently close these. So I want to make sure there's no, I don't know if you can see that. See, there's glitter. <laughs> I just want to make sure that, well, not that it would be so bad if my puppy had to spend eternity around my neck with some glitter, but I thought I would take some alcohol and just swab the inside of that and let it dry and then I would put in the little bit of taffy fur into each one because once it's sealed and dried I can wipe the outside I also want to make sure it was nice and clean so that the glue would have good contact so there we go there's one Again, there's not a lot of taffy fur. We were able to get a little tiny bit. So I just want to divide it in two and give one to me and one to my hubby. There we go. Just a little bit of taffy fur. All right. How am I going to get that inside? off a piece of this put out some glue this e6000 will pretty much stick anything to anything I have used it to stick metal to wood so I'm really hoping that it will stick plastic to glass If you've never used it before, I encourage you to use it in a well-ventilated area. It is kind of stinky. All right, here goes. Let that cure. It takes about, when I use it metal to wood, usually by an hour, I can manipulate it enough to move it to somewhere else. So I'm just going to leave this probably for the rest of the day. And oh, get in there. There we go. Give it a good twist. And of course, it's clear, so it will dry clear. 
There we go. I don't want that to stick to it. So um, Pam was kind enough to put a split, split ring instead of a jumper. So I'll actually be able to clip it right on here and wear it on my neck. So um, I'll wait for that to cure and I'll just do a final shot so that you can see what it looks like when it's complete. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here so that you can follow me on my artful journey. It's always better when you're here. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.